Uh, and that's it for now, guys. So I'll show you that this is automatically going to start playing now. Cool. See you later. Okay, welcome to this video um, where we'll be showing you guys how to um, build a website in 30 minutes essentially. So I've got a massive portfolio that I've built over time um, and recently because I'm going back to super yawning I decided to uh, focus on my domain chatterbed.com. All right, so when someone types in chatterbed.com, I want them to find my, my CV or my portfolio. And I think everyone should have this at least, or at least something similar, All right? Um, now, the reason for that is quite simple. You need to have an online portfolio in order for people to see what you can do. Instead of trying to sell um, hopes and dreams, rather sell what you can do by presenting them with a portfolio that they can see. Now, this is my current portfolio. Um, I do like it. It's a nice theme. It, it's done well. Um, it serves its purpose. However, it doesn't work so well on mobile. It looks horrible on mobile, to be honest. Because it is a side-shifting website. So it'll go to the, to the side here. It doesn't do this so well on, the, uh, on, a, um, on a mobile. So I'm going to change it. Uh, and it's just, just a bunch of a mission. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to go and find a plugin. Let's see. Okay, we're going to go to plugins. We're going to add a new plugin and we're going to call it, oh, we're going to search for the reset, WordPress reset um, plugin. We simply go say reset. Okay. And we're going to install it. What this does is it will reset your website 
um, to the default um, theme that you got when you first installed it before you went crazy and did everything. Okay, so after it's been installed, you got to go to your tools and you go to WordPress reset. Okay, now this is better, to, this is much better than destroying the whole site and uploading a new theme and going crazy because otherwise your site just gets too slow. You want to reset it, okay, to the bare settings. You'll see that the theme doesn't get lost. The theme stays on board, the, the plugins all stay on the site, but you, you can either delete them or you can just simply um, use them again. All right, so now you'll see that if I go and reload, it'll be this, okay? There's nothing there. So now, that's cool, that's good and all, but I've still got my, my themes. Okay, there's the theme that I had, Pulse, that's the theme. I'm going to go and see details, and I'm going to go delete it. Because the thing is, if you keep it in here, right, it's just going to, it just makes your site slow. You should only have one default theme. So, all right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find a new one. I don't know which one I want yet. I'm going to go to a site called wptry.org, which stands for wordpresstry.org, okay? And I'm going to go search for resume all right so um, it's then going to give me all the uh, themes that I want to pick from so this one's quite cool this one's quite cool I want to find one that's easy to use mobile first approach that's pretty nice so we'll open link a new tab Arta open link a new tab That's the one I just had. The next, I want to get three or four um, best options, and then I want to pick the one that's the best out of all of them. Online identity, WordPress vCant, CV theme. So that is Job portal, resume, CV builder, job seeker, public job, um, apply, SAS version, and adds many more features. What is this? Is this a plugin? Okay, we can't get this one. Okay, so let's go back. Um, Find another one, Amy Stone. Uh, no, so we'll go to the next page. I, I'm happy with these options here so far. Never mind, that one didn't work. So you want to find a one that does work. So there's a CV WordPress theme. I think I've just done this one. Um, Fabius, no, I haven't. Okay, Sam. Breezy CV. Okay. That looks cool as well. Resume CV portfolio WordPress theme. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. I'll check one more page. Okay, let's have a look while that's loading. We'll come here. Preview. 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 And preview. Okay, so this one is also Creative Resume WordPress theme, Modern Creative WordPress theme, CV WordPress theme, that looks all right. I like the look of it. Flux Personal Portfolio, and okay, that looks, that looks fancy. Okay, so let's have a look. That one doesn't work. Okay, I'm happy with my options here. So, Let's preview this. Okay, so this one's worth 29. This one's worth 29. This one's worth 29. This one's worth 25. And this lot, first one was worth 39. Okay, so let's have a look at the most expensive one first. So 
So here's what it's going to look like. So these are the versions, florist, designer, uh, one page with vertical, about me, about me. I'm not the biggest fan of these, to be honest, but I'll check the demo anyway. Lots of features here. No. So it's all right, it's not the end of the world. Instagram feed there, pretty cool. So you can see it's got some integrations, um, additional skills, uh, style. I don't like the font of it though. Obviously that can be changed. And they've got your portfolio, your experience. What is this here on the side? That's the other demos. Okay, so that's the, lo that's the first one we're gonna look at. I think this one's gonna look, look good. I can already see the colors and the um, Style, I think this one's going to be the one. Dark version, duh. So it's got WooCommerce, page uh, transition disabled, dark page transition enabled. I don't need WooCommerce on this thing on my portfolio because I'm not going to sell anything but myself. So there we go, that, la that loads quite fast. My services, I like this a lot. I like this a lot, this is cool. Languages, coding, PHP, download CVs, link there, this is exactly what you need, you don't need anything else. You don't need to make it super fancy because essentially See, that's a very cool portfolio. Let's have a look at the portfolio. So I'll come and put all my sites in here and all the stuff that I've built, obviously, in here. And that's the languages that you write. Okay, cool. I like this one. This is the premium option, the first option. Okay. Um, let's go to the next one. Preview. Okay, one click install, easy, customizable, support, powerful portfolio, advanced resume, easy install, two minutes, so here we go, animated, here's the demos. Um, okay, not the biggest fan. It's fine. So I've got these two left, so Ryan CV, this one had quite a few options. And it's recently been updated, and this one. So that's all we've got left here. Features here is a suited for developers, designer. Oh, cool, this looks cool. So resume, CV, and vCard um, features, installation, our demo. So the demo is always going to be down here. View demo. There you go. Demo Dark. Elementor, Elementor, Elementor. Trainer, musician, writer, default demo, designer, developer demo. So this is how we go find the theme. Um, essentially, you don't have to pay for them unless you don't know what you're doing because then they do it all for you. So resume about, I like this, it's not too bad. Download CV web development, game developments, quite similar to the other one. Clients, custom text, what does the menu do? So recent posts, recent comments, this is your blog. Okay, quite cool. Resume. Okay, works. Video. Okay, so this is the second option, All right? Um, and then this one also looked pretty cool. So this is a, full, uh, this one looks very cool. Uh, main demo, full width dark. So what's the difference here? Demo one, main dark, demo two, full width dark. Let's try this one. 
Now there are more sites where you can find these, obviously. Oof, I do like this, this looks cool already. About me, contact, what I do, e-commerce, marketing, testimonials, fun facts, working hours, awards won, do like it. This is, a comp this is definitely a competitor. So there's your versions. Resume, it's gonna look like this. Okay, so we're gonna go, let me just close all these things, otherwise it's too slow. Close that, close the back, because that's the one they wanted. Portfolio. This was another the other option. So it's between this one. Obviously it's gonna take a bit of editing to get it right, but that's fine. Blog contact extra. I do like this one, this is very cool. But then again, so is this one. Okay, so I'm going to go and just have a look at these two again. WooCommerce, Portfolio, One Page, Elemental. That looks cool. Here we go. Okay, so let's go. Ryan CV, I didn't, um, this one was the second, no, third option. Okay, and then this one was the last one. It's like the same, it's just dark. So between these two, so this one and this one. Do like this because it has pricing tables. This one doesn't have pricing tables. Let's have a look at the home one. Obviously, I want to have a look at this on a mobile as well. So I'm going to copy that. So I'm going to go into and test that obviously on, um, test both on mobile. So I'm going to go and just quickly log into my um, Glide app builder account so I can have a look at it. Best way to do this is go to my apps. Um, okay, and we'll take this first one, copy it. Okay, we'll go to the menu, we'll go to admin, we'll add. 
Okay, and we'll go do do that, and then option one. I think option one is going to be the way forward. Eh? But you never know. That's why we do this. Okay, and then in admin, we can go and we can just make sure that the when they get open, they open the link in the web view. Quite important that we understand that, otherwise it'll open up a new, new tab. Ooh, that's nice. Perfect. Okay, that was pretty cool. Done. And then the second one. Okay, so this one loads a bit longer, which I don't like. Discover my amazing art space. Um, very cool. Explore now. Web development. Order now. UX. Uh, game design. Order now. See, so this is a sales um, oriented to design because it's got a lot of buttons and it says order now recommendations are cool clients are cool okay documentation change log support shop by theme okay and now it's going to go to what's this one page okay and there we go that's pretty cool as well Alright, I think I'm going to use this one. This is my chosen option here. Um, CV WordPress, I think this is the one. So this is the one pager. Alright, so now that we have the option, okay, I'm going to this, it's this one. I'm going to go, uh, go back. And it's quite simple. I'm going to go download the direct link, which is going to give me a CSV formats it or a zip sorry a zip um, so this is going to go into documents and it's going to go into wordpress themes and it's going to be um, okay it's going to be a zip file now I can go close this okay and in my wordpress site I'm first going to go open this file now the zip file which is going to give me the files that I need to use Uh, and you'll see that it will always have so theme it will have a main a parent file sorry um, a parent file and it will have a child file okay the parent file is the main one which comes with all the coding and the child version is the one that you upload so that you can go and do some editing if you don't install the child theme um, then when you go and edit it, you're editing the code of the site without knowing it. And then a month or two down the line, you realize what, what the hell's going on with my site. It's not working. It's because you didn't install that. So I'm going to activate it. After you activate it, it's always going to come with, um, it's always going to, it's always going to come with plugins. Okay. This one's going to be quite tricky because it has that documentation theme read me no it's fine so after we've installed it now i've uploaded it we're going to activate it and then it's going to go uh, and give us all the plugins that we have to install so this thing is going to come with plugins so it's going to be this one uh, go find the documentation 
So for those that aren't familiar with WordPress development or website development, I highly uh, recommend that you read through this documentation and watch the videos that they tell you to do, to watch, okay? Um, I've just done it so many times that I know pretty much what they are gonna say. I do still come back to the documentation because um, if you read it, you actually find a lot of things that you don't know about the theme, which is pretty cool. All right, this is what it looks like, um, how it starts. Um, art so this is the one here. Okay, so our theme has been active has been installed. There it is. Now we have to go and install the plugins. Looks like it's got eight. And then we go simply install, apply. Chuck this. This is annoying me. My computer is slow. Okay, after we install the um, after we install the plugins, we need to activate them. Cool, so all of them were activated successfully or installed successfully. Now we have to activate them. You'll see once you do that, the whole theme will change. Okay, that's done. Now we want to go back to appearance and you want to go back to themes, right? And you want to upload your child theme. Never forget that. Just connecting my um, Elementor account. There you go, look at that. Just skip this for now. Okay, we'll do that later. That's WooCommerce, so we can get paid if we want to get paid. Okay, so you'll see that that's it's, it's changed completely. It's got all these options are down here now, but we want to go and go to themes. We want to go and upload a new theme. Okay, you want to go upload theme. You want to dra drag the theme child theme across okay child theme no, is going across play. because it's that's the one we want to install we won't have to do any more um, plugins because it's done so the theme requires that's done it's done installed activate okay after that's done after it's activated okay we can now go and import the demo content Right, so all the demo stuff, uh, I'll give it to you, or you need to go to the demo content folder, which is the content XML. Um, but we'll, we'll see now. We'll see the options now. And the reason I'm doing this, uh, this whole thing is because my domain Chat a bit as in the last month got in a lot of traffic because I've pushed a lot of traffic to it. So I'm trying to find a yacht job and my CV is optimized for super yachts. But at the same time, I'm still a developer and I do make money online. It's my living at the moment. Um, as well as on the side, well, my main business is Green Yacht Crew Solutions, of course. Um, however, that's a brand. It's, not, it's, it's still a while. Well, it's, it's ready now, but it takes a while for it to be 100%. So you'll see we've got both, but now the child theme is the one that's installed. Okay, so we'll just go quickly, go and delete the other ones that we don't need. Otherwise, it just makes it too slow. Okay, um, we can see we've got two plugins that need to be updated. Let's go do that real quick. Advanced Custom Fields Pro, select them all, update plugins. Perfect. And now you'll see advanced kind of package not available. It's fine. Um, let's go import demo content. Okay, import demo data. Okay, now we choose the fields. And we'll say continue to import. Now those things are um, extra plugins that it's recommended. Um, I, I find that if you don't install them, um, the demo won't import properly. 
You can always go delete them later. But essentially what this is, is just more plugins to make the site work. Uh, what the developer used when he built it. It was a form builder. Okay, cool. So I can see that. Let's go look at the settings. Theme options. Let's go have a look at here. Let's go have a look at portfolio. Let's go have a look here. Did that work? It said yes, but probably not going to work. Theme settings. And there we go. Our new WordPress website has been, our new CV has been designed. Pretty cool, right? Now, obviously, I'm just going to edit these now. Let's go edit these pages and, and put my information in there. But that's how you do it. All right? That's how you do it. Um, the, the This is the customizer in front here. All right? Where you go put all of that in. So, home page settings is going to be home. Okay, home one page. And then post page is going to be my blog. Carousel, I like blog carousel. Just go blog, blog carousel. Okay. And then site identity is obviously not going to be chain event. Um, and we'll put it, I'm going to be aiming for, let's do um, super yacht first officer. All right. So that's just obviously now the, uh, the nitty gritty stuff that I need to look at. Um, an icon, well, I, I always use my own face as an icon. So I can, it, well, for many reasons, I don't want the WordPress thing there. Um, I want people to know that it's me, uh, and it's quite simple. 